Let's see what spirit has for you. I'm out here appreciating the blue skies. Sunny day. Feels good. Um, hope that it is nice wherever you guys are. And uh, drop in the comments where you are from. Curious, always curious about where you guys are from. And I hope you're doing something that you love today. We are going to jump into the tarot. Take a look at the energy showing up. And then we will also take a look at like the oracle. See where the energy takes us. So. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Alright, for any and all Aries placements, and if you guys would like to follow me on social media or book a personal, links will be in the description box below. Spirit, any messages that you can show me, what energy is showing up in Aries' life at this time? I am seeing an energy of the Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. From this, I'm getting a sense that there's something here potentially tied up to love, right? Romance, an offer, an interest of yours. It's like you're really considering it or thinking about what it would be like to experience this opportunity, situation, person. You know what I mean? It's like you're really in deep thought or you're contemplating, trying to make a decision about how you feel in regards to whatever's being presented to you, right? This does show up with your energy here as well with Aries, kind of almost like something you're thinking about or wish or something that you've been hoping for, wanting to do, kind of like what is it when you kind of think about what it would be like to actually go down that path or take that job or go after the opportunity like kind of playing it out in your head or like really feeling the energy out so I'm getting this energy of like using you're showing me strong use of your own discernment to kind of guide your choices you know in regards to this but love is being presented here that got you thinking Aries from what I'm seeing and the underlying energy was the chariot so this could be that energy kind of making you know making a forward movement towards you um, but it also could be you kind of leaning towards the direction of moving forward with something and it doesn't have to be love this could literally just be tied up to your passions take it as it resonates but you're thinking about heading in a certain direction or connecting with a certain energy that showing up with some love. Spirit, what can you show me about how this energy is showing up for Aries at this time? Hmm. All right. So Aries, what I'm seeing here is the four of pentacles, three of pentacles. What else are the ace of cups and the sun? So, this energy is showing up with, like, a strong desire to get to know you or build, you know, connect with you on a, a definitely an emotional level, but also just an energetic level. With the sun here, you make this person very happy, Aries, from what I can see. <laughs> like, this energy feels like making an offer or trying to really get, what is it? I don't want to say like a brand new beginning, but it's like really investing their whole heart or feeling invested in your energy wholeheartedly. You know what I mean? But I'm also seeing an energy here of someone being very protective or very, it's like their heart's open to you, but them, but you may perceive this energy as being more closed off or maybe a bit more reserved, you know, like they're showing you love but when it comes to them opening up in that same regard it's like 
there could be a bit more hesitancy that you experience with this energy or a f kind of a hesitancy for them to lean into the things that they're truly feeling because what I'm also seeing with this eight of swords it's like something got this energy tied up but it's not preventing them from showing up with this proposition or expressing their feelings is like it's like there's more to this energy there's more to them that they could be hesitant to like open up about you know what i mean but there's a lot of love here a lot of joy that they feel for you and so hmm, with this queen of swords aries because you're showing me this energy of like discernment or pondering like considering it's almost like you may feel this kind of hesitancy or this closed offness in, in a way. You may feel like something, there is something deeper. There is something more to this person or this energy, you know. They maybe are a bit more closed off, but you're showing me that you're considering something that feels good. And they're showing me they want to build with you. They recognize your talents, right? They recognize, like, kind of you not just in a romantic sense, but more so in like for the good energy that I guess you bring into their life or that they experience when they're with you. So this could be a newer energy that you've been talking to. This could be um, a new environment, a new job, something new-ish, new-ish, I guess. <laughs> that kind of feels pretty good, but there's more to uncover. Hmm. Spirit, what can you show me about the energy moving forward? for Aries, or between Aries and this energy. Okay. So, okay, Page of Swords. There's definitely, I want to say this Getting to know, <laughs> getting to know each other or getting familiar with the environment sort of phase. You know what I mean? This could be tied up to work, but if it is tied up to like a connection or relationship, the, it's it's like the hesitant hesitancy that this energy was showing you is almost like, it's like learning how to be, vo or feeling the waters out in regards to like being vulnerable, right? on both ends maybe but it's like learning how to communicate or open up or just a really curious energy that wants to get to know you know more about you very invested in getting to know you but with the knight of swords the eight of pentacles and the tower reverse hmm. this is an energy of great change not there is no hesitation in this energy moving forward in regards to wanting to get to know you or take action, right? Could be in regards to, like, if it's a work thing. It's like someone is making you an offer, you know what I mean? Like, they want you or this business opportunity is seeking you out, this whatever it is for you in your life because you're someone very nice to work with or very talented, good at what you do. Um, it's almost like... If it is work, it's almost like maybe you're being, you are being like studied or considered or something like that. And they're definitely taking action before they miss out on an opportunity with you if it's work. But if it's a relationship thing, it's like the reason, there's a strong desire to not hesitate when it comes to Aries. You know what I mean? Like showing up literally invested invested in getting to know you or uh, just experiencing this and there's no there's a strong sense of like high hopes i want to say with the tower in reverse it's almost like an expectation of good things <clears throat> from this energy or yeah yeah that's what i want to say it's almost like there is this immediate action to kind of get to know or grow or build or something because there's this expectation like 
genuine investment, I guess, from the heart space that this energy was showing up with, you know? It's like they're putting full effort into trying to get to know you. And so you may see that from that energy into your life. You may see someone make uh, an advancement, right? In any way, shape, or form that it shows up in your life, which is very interesting because they're they're very focused on you or curious, you know, to get to know you. That's what it looks like. All right. Anything that you can show me for Aries at this time. And then take the rest of these oracles just as it resonates for you in your life. Um, kind of with the situation outside of it. Um, but we got service, mysticism, and abundance. So Aries, there's uh, energy here of you being really helpful, you know, in regards to whatever you do, whatever you bring to the table. You could be very spiritually gifted, very spiritually tapped in, and just embracing or kind of experiencing more abundance in your life with how you serve, or maybe just serving is feels good, right? It brings you into a place of abundance, but something here is becoming very abundant or very successful. Um, it could be highly due to like you following your intuition, following where spirit is leading you, especially with this energy here. The Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Tower Reverse. It's like this crow, it's kind of leading this Knight of Swords. And so they're taking action in the card. They're taking action, very fast action at that, without fail. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, it could be in regards to how you do service, right? <laughs> how you do work, how you do create, how you do build. And the unexpected blessing with the Tower Reverse. Very, very in alignment. <laughs> but I am seeing that sort of energy right there. Anything else you got for Aries at this time, Spirit? Okay, straight up. <laughs> A clear solution will be revealed. You will start to get that sense. A light, a way is being, a path is being lit up, I want to say. And then we also have Aloha Healing and Ghost People. So with mysticism as well, it could be like really connecting with spirit or really tapped in with your guides. Um, but there's a lot of healing here or a clear solution in regards to a way forward, a way that is, you know, helpful for you and others forward. I don't know. But here we go. <laughs> On the split, we have trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. So it's like your service areas or your whatever you're doing, how, whatever environment you're showing up in. Your services are very appreciated, your talents, your gifts with that three of pentacles we saw. They're very, um, people wanna build with you, people wanna grow with you, you know? Whatever you do, whatever you bring to the table. Very desired, very, very desired. Star ancestors and mountains, nice. Aries, there's an energy here of following that voice of your soul is what that says. And then with mountains, stand your ground. So really trust in your intuition, I'm seeing, but like feeling really called in a certain direction towards purpose, or maybe this, if it's a connection, like really trusting your soul in regards to wherever, it, wherever it's guiding you. But standing up for yourself and potentially overcoming some challenges with this mountain here, right? Kind of finding the silver lining between those or within those challenges whatever they may be for you in your life or obstacles you know and yeah we'll end with this deck mystical shaman Aries I'm picking up that you're a very nurturing energy to be around you're very caring you're very giving you're very loving to you know those that encounter you on your path and you bring a lot of wisdom or a lot of gentle guidance, a lot of like truth maybe to others. And I want to say that this is something that I guess your spiritual wisdom, may, you may be starting to really 
see how valued you are. You know, others could be really appreciating or showing showing up or like showing interest, like reaffirming that to you. And so you may start to feel very spiritually in, in alignment with like what what the soul calling is or what the voice of your soul has been calling you to. It's like getting some sort of confirmation or sign from your guides that you are absolutely on the right path or in alignment with the arrow here. There's an energy that, or a direction you've been heading and spirit is showing up with like, yes, crow on the bottom. Like this is, you're heading down a very, very successful, abundant path that is in alignment with service and like uh, love, you know? And so Aries, this is what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to follow me on social media or book a personal, again, uh, links will be in the description box below or my bot tab. Bye.